Let's bring you the latest um, from the on the floods in Libya. It has now been more than three days since Libya's eastern port city of Dena was practically flattened as Storm Daniel unleashed his wrath on a city that was mostly fast asleep. Now, the mayor of the eastern city of Dena estimates between 18,000 and 20,000 people have died. This comes as the UN's World Meteorological Organization says most of the thousands of deaths in the Libya floods could have been avoided if warnings had been issued leading to evacuations. We have more in this report. The mayor of the eastern Libya port city of Dena estimates between 18,000 and 20,000 people have died in flooding. Abdul Neman El Gaiti said his estimate was based on the number of districts completely destroyed when two dams burst. More than 20,000 people are now known to have died and at least 10,000 are missing. Streets were swept away in the torrent and bodies are being recovered from the sea. The two rival governments in Libya are coordinating relief efforts for flood victims. Domestic efforts to aid survivors gathered momentum on Thursday, despite political fractions. A global effort to assist Libya's countless victims also gathered pace on Thursday. On Wednesday evening, a Turkish ship carrying equipment to set up two field hospitals in Libya with 148 medical staff left the city of Izmir, according to Turkey's health minister, Faretin Kosa. That is in addition to three aircraft of humanitarian aid, as well as rescue and medical teams Ankara sent on Tuesday. A naval vessel from Italy is also expected to head to Libya on Thursday to provide logistical and medical support. Several other countries and bodies, including Algeria, Egypt, France, Iran, Jordan, Kuwait, Qatar, the UAE, the United Kingdom, the United States, and the European Union have helped in numerous ways, from militarily to medically in recent days. Organizations like the Islamic Relief are also working with local partners and have begun funding distributions of essential aid, such as food, blankets and mattresses. In the meantime, the head of the UN's World Meteorological Organization says most of the deaths from Libya flood could have been avoided. I'm profoundly distressed that thousands of lives have been so brutally swept away in eastern Libya. And so many more people have lost their loved ones, their homes, their communities, and their access to basic needs. Storm Daniel is yet another lethal reminder of the catastrophic impact that the changing climate can have on our world. I call on all Libyan political actors to overcome deadlocks and divisions and to act collectively in ensuring access to relief. This is a time for unity of purpose. All those affected must receive support without regard for any affiliations. It is important that particular care is taken to ensure protection of groups in vulnerable situations who are rendered even more at risk in the aftermath of such a disaster. Libya has two rival governments, which has made it difficult to respond to disasters in a swift, coordinated manner. The overall situation in Libya is complicated by deep political fractures in a country of 7 million people that has lacked a strong central government and has been embroiled in conflict on and off since a NATO-backed uprising that toppled Muammar Gaddafi in 2011. Each government announced separate precautionary measures as the recent storm that caused the flooding headed towards the country.